New Jersey Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver died Tuesday, one day after she was rushed to the hospital for an undisclosed medical issue. It is with incredible sadness and a heavy heart that we announce the passing of the Honorable Sheila Y. Oliver. Lieutenant Governor of the State of New Jersey, the Oliver family said in a statement. She was not only a distinguished public servant but also our cherished daughter, sister, aunt, friend, and hero. Oliver was 71 years old. She had been serving as acting governor with government. Phil Murphy on vacation. The Democratic Senate President, Nicholas Scutari, took over as acting governor when Oliver was rushed to the hospital Monday. Murphy remembered Oliver as a trailblazer in announcing her death. When I selected her to be my running mate in 2017, Lieutenant Governor Oliver was already a trailblazer in every sense of the word, Murphy said in a statement. She had already made history as the first black woman to serve as Speaker of the General Assembly. And just the second black woman in the nation's history to lead a house of a state legislature. I knew then that her decades of public service made her the ideal partner for me to lead the state of New Jersey. It was the best decision I ever made. Former New Jersey Governor and 2024 presidential candidate Chris Christie tweeted, It is a sad day for NJ and for me personally. I will miss Sheila. She served as speaker in my first term and we treated each other with kindness and respect, Christie said. She was a great person and partner. For latest updates subscribe our YouTube